what is up everybody and welcome back to another video today we have top five scary ghost videos prepared to be terrified by yours truly the nukes top five okay so let's get it all right all right all right meanwhile on, on TikTok. TikTok. Okay, One let's day, go. A severely damaged car Number five. into a garage in Via Rica, Chile. It seems that the car had been involved in a serious traffic accident just the night before. Okay. The okay. owner of the repair shop, Marcos Garcia, has a house that sits on the same property as the garage. Around 2.30 in the afternoon, he notices something very odd outside his window. He spots one of his mechanics, a man named Juan, who seems to be involved in a very animated conversation with someone. Okay. The problem is, there's no one there. Oh, th Juan we've seen this one on depth of, uh, depth of Despair. Marco so, quickly pulls yeah. up the live feed of the garage's CCTV camera on his phone. What happens next is downright chilling. Yeah, yeah, okay, we've seen this one. So basically, he's just talking to nobody at all. He swears that he's seen something or someone. And yeah, the, as you can see, there's nobody there. No, absolutely no one. He's thinking that he's talking to the owner of the car. No, está hablando solo. Nope. Voy a preguntar por cámara qué está haciendo. A ver, vamos a preguntar. ¿Aló? Oye, disculpa, pero con quién, con quién está hablando? Mr. Carlos. Oye, oye, cálmate, 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 cálmate. Quiero don Carlos, pero oye, escúchame, escúchame un poquito. ¿Tú me estás hablando, tú me estás hablando del accidente de anoche? Claro. Juan me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? No, Like he swears he's talking to the owner. Oye, puedes su subir. ¿Sabes qué? Oye, no, es que no estoy hablando con nadie, viejo. Nah, there's nobody there, bro. Yeah. I would love to see the reaction when he sees the camera footage. Viejo, no, estoy, te estoy, tengo grabado. Vente, por favor, vente. <laughs> Mechanic Juan swears that he was talking to a man who was yeah. very real and said his name was Mr. Carlos. Also, the reason Juan why I'm this calm about it Mr. because Carlos I've seen this like right one or front twice of him, clear before, so yeah, it's nothing he says new. Mr. Carlos was asking questions about repairing the severely wrecked car from the night before. Now, Juan had no idea that all of the passengers in the car had passed away in the accident. Yeah. He also didn't know that one of the deceased passengers was a man named Mr. Carlos. Yeah. So did Juan talk to a ghost? He certainly seems convinced. But what do you think? This next video is... I, I think this is really true, by the way, because he actually tries to speak and communicate and talks to the owner of the car who died the night before. So, yeah, that's a little bit tragic. But, yeah, it is what it is, though. Uh, like, I've, like I said before, uh, I've seen this one once or twice before. And uh, that's the reason why I'm this calm about it. Because every video that I post is about videos that I haven't seen before. Like, like the first impressions. If I've seen a video before, I'm not going to post it. So, yeah. It's a bit of a mystery as it was posted to TikTok without a source. The post claims that the video was recorded in an apartment in Barranquilla, Colombia. Okay, the man who Columbia. recorded it said that he was shocked when he began hearing the chilling sound of a woman crying from somewhere in his house. He took out his phone to record the terrifying event, but what happens next makes his blood run cold. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely... Whoa! That's a child. That's not a woman, that's a child. 
Bro, Niño. that, bro, that's your child, right? <laughs> oh, heck the no! With a blank expression suddenly appears from behind the man's TV stand, and judging no. from the man's reaction, he has no idea who this child is. The boy then ducks down behind the stand, and the man quickly walks over, but the boy has disappeared into thin air. Bro. Now, without a source, it's impossible to know whether this creepy footage is real or fake. But either way, the video is definitely... Either way, you hear a woman crying, and you see this little boy. But this kid is not looking straight at him. You know? This kid is looking onto the left, his right. But as if he's trying to watch that other woman who's crying or something because he's not looking straight at him play spooky also maybe my microphone is a little a few bit months ago we featured the close. story of tim saver a what night guard who started sound. a new job at an undisclosed facility for some reason no one was willing to work the night shift and before long tim understood why he if nobody wants to work the night shift you know there's definitely something going on, okay? Begin to experience disturbing and unexplainable events at work. Eventually, Tim discovered that the source of the strange activity in the building seemed to be coming from an overhead attic space. When Tim went up into the attic to investigate, he discovered something truly horrifying. Okay. Let's get it. So, bro. What is that? It does look like a big ass hand though. Oh, it is. What the hell? Since this video, the strange activity in the building has only gotten worse. Tim says that he's actually <laughs> been attacked by something a few times. Attacked. So cut to another late night. Security guard Tim begins to hear banging coming from somewhere inside the building. Okay. Once again, he grabs his phone and hits record as he goes to investigate. All right. All right. Let's get it. Okay, that door is open. But why is it so dark, though? Please protect me, God. Please, pl please protect me, God. God damn. Look at all those mannequins. Okay. I guess we're doing this. I guess so. Hello? Hello? Hey, yo? <laughs> that man can be like, who is you? <laughs> what you doing here? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, shit. Okay, so I think the mannequins had enough. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I heard some crying. Like a female is crying. Hello? Who's there? Whoa! Hello? Wow, okay, okay, okay. American moves on its own and then falls over. Then a large glass frame falls to the floor and shatters into a million pieces. That is and terrifying. Here's the creepy sound of a woman crying. And finally, a loud raspy voice can be heard from somewhere in the room. Yeah. Hello? Tim is scared shitless and he just makes a run for it. So, yeah. Now, a few weeks later, Tim is back on the night shift when things once again take a terrifying turn. Okay, I, I wanted to mention that the crying from the female is like, it's like what you see in the horror movies, you know? It's not like crying, crying, like really crying. This is like crying to lure you in crying, if you know what I mean. Okay, whoa, did you hear that laughter? Oh, what is that? Hey, hey, what? No, nah, that has to be a mannequin, right? Do you see them arms and hands? 
Hello? Watch that as it slithers away. Oh my god! No! Point your flashlight towards it. It's still standing there. Nope. And now it's gone. Oh, okay, yeah! Okay. It's not there anymore. That's an upside down cross. Okay, you gotta go. You need Someone to or leave. Something can be seen sitting on top of a steel cart. Whatever it is slowly moves back, and when Tim turns on his flashlight, it just disappears. Damn. Tim says he is shocked by all that he's seen while working as a night guard in the building. But this pushed him over the edge. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. The next yeah, day, yeah. Tim quit his job. Mm hmm. So is Rightfully it real, so. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. We there was so much going on. Like, for instance, why was he that calm when the arms just slithered away, you know? I don't know. He was he was a little bit too calm. Or he has a huge set of balls. He needs scary know. videos, so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Yes, it looks back. Okay. Over on the channel, RX Files explore Indonesian paranormal investigator Chu does a live solo investigation of the infamously haunted Taiyu Hospital on the Indonesian island of Java. Okay. Taiyu Hospital was built way back Java. in 1933. And over its 80 year history, it began to develop a very bizarre reputation. Many okay. patients who were treated at Taiyu Hospital claimed to see the ghostly figure of an old nurse roaming its hallways. An old nurse? They also nurse. said okay. that they had seen the terrifying apparitions of patients who had passed away inside the old hospital. And some even claimed to experience horrible hallucinations, like bloody footprints running up the walls that no one else could see. Okay. Taiyu Hospital closed its doors in 2015 and has been left abandoned ever since. Paranormal investigator Chu is completely alone with nothing but a flashlight and his phone as he broadcasts his investigation live to his streaming audience. Okay. As Chu roams the hospital grounds, he starts to hear a few strange sounds here and there, but it doesn't seem to bother him. But then... Chu begins to ask that the alleged spirits that haunt the hospital let him know that they are there. And this is when things start to get creepy. Yeah. Sudah, suara-suara saja. Tunjukkan semua ejakulasi kalau memang kalian ada di sini. Lingkau. Okay, okay. Okay, it lets you know. It lets you know. Oh, it's coming towards you. Hospital What's that noise? Is he shaking that much? Or? So much that he begins to shake uncontrollably. Okay, yeah. Okay. But things are about to get much Ooh, worse. Ooh, he's running. Chu decides that he's had enough of the outdoors and heads inside to explore the hospital's halls and rooms. But he starts to hear the disturbing sound of a bell ringing from somewhere inside the building. When okay. he looks for the source, something happens that shocks him to his core. All right, let's see. Okay, ringing bell. Must be something at the end of the hallway, right? Oh! Okay, so now, now you got activity from two angles, in front of you and the back of you. You should be scared. Wait, when the gate clear that? Yeah. Oh! Hey, 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 the exit door slams shut right behind him and an ominous voice can be heard. But most terrifying of all, something seems to quickly peek out at you from inside one of the hospital rooms. Yeah. 
Ju is terrified and quickly heads for another section of the hospital. But as Ju continues to explore, it continues. things just seem to get worse and worse. Well, damn. It's way too damn dark to be there outside by yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? What is that? What is that? Flashlight, flashlight. What is that? What is that? <laughs> yeah, he is shaking. Oh my God. I would have peed my pants. <laughs> Chu jumps when he suddenly sees Dang. what appears to be the eerie apparition of a girl standing yep. just inside yep. an empty storage room. Gathering all of his courage, he charges toward the creepy figure, but it disappears into thin air. Wow. Chu okay. is now seriously freaked out and just wants to leave. Yeah. But his I can live imagine. audience has other ideas. I wouldn't want to stay as he well. He bombarded with requests in his live chat to go back inside the hospital just one more time and explore some of the abandoned rooms. As you might guess, it did not go well. No. Okay. Yeah. That made sense. You have all this paranormal activity and you still want to keep going. Something see there's a whole lot of things weird in there. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. It's there again. It's there again. Are you gonna charge towards it again? Or what are you gonna do? Whoa! Whoa! Bro! That's what you see in horror movies! Chu freezes when he spots a woman in what looks like a hospital gown sitting on a bed inside one of the hospital rooms. She doesn't move, but her head seems to drop backwards to look at Chu as if it's not attached to her body. Oh my god. With that, Chu has had enough. He ends his live stream and just gets out of there. So what do you think is going on here? Could the hospital really be haunted? Either way, real or not, whatever that is is absolutely terrifying the weeping woman i had to make sure that there's nobody really behind us okay the outdoors <laughs> and has dedicated his videos to documenting his frequent camping trips in the countryside of england okay. along with his cute little Ooh. french bulldog fendi oh look at this that time, cutie Yaz travels deep into a remote forest that is said to be haunted by the quote lady in white Okay. The story goes that back in the 1800s, a troubled woman who lived on a farm at the edge of the woods was so distraught that she took her own life amongst the trees of the forest. Gaz says that he has heard the story, but he doesn't really seem all that bothered. Oh, uh, look at that dog. So Gaz just sets up his hammock and prepares to spend the night in the deep woods. Okay. However, when the sun goes uh, down, I want a French bulldog so bad. happens that makes Gaz wish he had never come to this particular forest. Hello? I just hear the wind. Now I hear it. Stop too. <laughs> Look at the dog. I, I sorry. The the dog is doing it for me. Yep. Must be the wind, right? Nope. Don't leave nope. the dog. Nope. Hello. 
Don't leave the dog. Who shook the ca Oh, it wasn't you? The dog must have spotted it, right? Like dogs feel and see that type of energy. Okay, so oh. he's in the background. We saw that little light in the corner. So he's not in the tent right now. What the dog doing? It's looking. There's a sound again. The crying. But the dog isn't like full of fear or something. He's just chilling. Must be the wind, right? Okay, Hello? so hold on. Where's the dog? Oh, it gets closer. It's getting closer. Hello? It's like a small child or something. Okay. Oh. The dog is just standing. I'm off, mate. I'm off. And with that, Gaz has had enough. He quickly packs up his hammock, gathers his things, and just gets out of there. Okay. Gaz is shocked by the horrible noises Makes sense. that sound exactly like a crying woman. Yeah, it does. He believes but... that he might have captured the troubled spirit of the woman who took her own life centuries ago in the haunted forest. Even little dog Fendi appears to be on edge about their creepy surroundings. She seems to keep staring at something in the woods that Gaz just can't see. So did okay. outdoorsman Grizzly Gaz accidentally capture evidence of the paranormal? I leave that up to you to decide. You can watch this entire creepy video over on the YouTube channel. I've got a couple of things because point one, it could be the wind, right? The wind can make it sound like it's crying or something because there's nothing there. The, the dog seems a little bit calm though. And the reason why the dog is a little bit on edge because it's outside, okay? And like my, my parents have a French bulldog as well and it acts completely the same way when they're outside looking for something and that kind of stuff so yeah i don't know i think it would be the wind because it's very windy over there you can tell by the sound you can hear but uh yeah channel grizzly gas but you would think inn. that he has a lot of experience in the woods ago, and everything. in the early 1700s the leopard that he inn might have had the same experience in, town of Bursal, in another England. wood or the inn was a huge success and people from all over would visit to stay the night or to have a few pints in the downstairs pub all right. However, the Leopard's End's history is also marred by many tragic events. I can imagine. 7065? The End's dark history is the violent passing of a lady of the night in one of the upstairs rooms. Her life was taken by an angry and very violent customer. Okay. It is said that both of their spirits are trapped inside the Leopard Inn, doomed to wander its halls for all eternity. Visitors and workers at the inn claim to have had terrifying experiences with one of these spirits. Okay. Some say that the dark shadowy figure of a man follows and attacks people at the inn, sometimes touching or pushing them, or even grabbing them by the throat. So what's one of the most scariest experiences that you've had inside the Leopard Inn Hotel? That is the figure, the Sharon black figure Chris. that goes upstairs, um, wanders through the pub, opens and closes doors, um, sometimes get touched on the shoulder. Okay. And have you actually seen the figure? Yes. Over the years, the inn's business took a sharp downturn and much of the structure was sealed off and left abandoned until 2007. The Leopard Inn's first floor is now a historic pub. But the upper floors and rooms of the inn still remain empty and in a state of decay. Okay, Ghost yeah. Hunters Jeff and Phil from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations travel to the Leopard Inn with their cameraman Pete. Mm -hmm. They hope to catch supernatural activity on camera. 
and what they encounter is truly chilling. The team installs several static cameras throughout the inn, and then they start to explore. Okay. Almost immediately, they capture something unexplainable in the second floor hallway. What's in there? It feels really cold behind me as well. Yeah, I've just, I've just gone cold. Did you feel that? Yeah, I felt it. Where did it come from, Pete? Big gas, well not gas, but a lot of cold air come into my back. Looks like a bad horror movie. So, something's moving down that way as well. Yeah, and there's a bit something of moving. Bring a K2 in here, Jeff. Okay. A lot of cold air come into my back from there. Okay, we hear the movement. So, something's moving down that way as well. After hearing the bizarre unexplained footsteps, the Ghost Tech team continues to investigate in hopes of finding the source of the mysterious sound. Right. Now, this is when Phil starts to experience some very strange and creepy encounters. Okay. The first time it happens, Phil is on the third floor, conducting a spirit box session. Alright, let's see. Is there anybody here? In this hallway at the moment. What? Okay, something just pulled me on the back of my thing. Oh, uh, that's I convenient. I, yeah, I didn't see it. Head. The camera was going to the right. But. Yep. Okay, so I take it you are with us. Phil just laughs off the tug on his coat, but then it happens again. All right, let's see it. What? Um, <laughs> Phil. Yeah. Hold on a sec. All right. What do you see? You see when you said someone touched you. Yeah. Did you laugh? No. I went well. Something touched me. Did you laugh? As Phil gets touched, I clearly hear a man laugh. And this is captured on our digital recorder. Here's the audio enhanced. All right. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can definitely hear that. Something pulls at Phil's jacket and a sinister laugh can be heard. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be dealing with the spirit of the angry man that took the life of the Lady of the Night inside the Leopard Inn. Doesn't sound that angry. This ghost is said to follow and attack people. Their suspicions <laughs> seem justified when Phil is targeted yet again. Let's see. I was told that you are seen walking up and down the stairs. Come down now. It's hard to tell the difference by all the sound effects. To be to to hear what's real and Phil what's not real. He's receiving an EVP. A man's voice who is saying, We'll fix it for money. And at the same time, there is movement behind him. Here is the enhanced audio of the EVP, followed by the footage which has also been enhanced. Okay. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I was told that you're seen walking up and down the stairs. That's a bit strange. I was told to say. that you're seen walking up and down the stairs. So I was trying to tell you that, okay, it'll stop walking across the stairway and that kind of stuff for money. So if you give him money, hey, he'll be out you here. Okay, it's, you, you can see a little bit. You can see it a little bit. Yeah. But a dark that could be anybody. seems to reach out towards Phil, almost as if it's attempting to grab him again. Mm. Meanwhile, one of the upstairs cameras has caught something that is downright chilling all right let's see whilst we are on the second see what you floor, got at the same time our static night vision camera on the third floor is capturing what seems to be an apparition it stands at the end of the hallway 
then it turns and walks into a room. Here's the footage followed by the footage enhanced. All right, let's get the arrow. What do we see? Okay. Yeah, a, a slightly wider void, wider picture. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, it's a little bit more clear now that you zoomed in a, a little bit. A white translucent okay. figure yeah. can be seen entering one of the bedrooms on the third floor. So, could this be the spirit of the man that terrified so many visitors at the inn? And is it the same figure that was reaching out to Phil? You can watch this entire... It could be the same figure that reached out to Will, Phil, Sil. But, anyways, uh, it's not what the female has saw. What the, what the woman's seen. So the woman saw a black figure which is clearly not this one so could there be multiple entire two-part investigation over on the youtube channel ghost tech paranormal investigations okay okay the end of the czar conti now you might remember a little <laughs> while back we featured an indian family who claimed that their apartment was haunted by a poltergeist yeah yeah okay We've seen a couple on Depth of Despair. It's coming from the cupboard. Where he got pulled back and pushed to the floor. The uh, scooter slowly moving Could towards the uh, bedroom. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we... Well, as an update to that. this story, the father Zark says that he has decided to end the channel. Because oh? now, his family has finally moved to a new home. Okay. But, Zark posted one final video from their old apartment that might be their creepiest video yet. Okay, let's see, because this family was interesting in this apartment. I'm glad they moved. That's the child. Okay, what happened? Yo, that child was half translucent. Where are you going? Your kid is going towards there. You need to help your kid. Zark hears a child crying in their living room and thinks that it's his son. Wait, what? Just as he enters the room, he sees a semi-transparent child run toward the hall. Yeah. In the dark, Zar can't tell that something just doesn't quite look right. And he runs after the child, thinking that it's his own son. But just then, his wife yells to him from the other room to say that their son is still safe in bed. Snug under the covers and not crying at all. Hey, so yo. Zark has no idea who or what this is. Cut back to current day, and Zark says that the channel is now over. Yeah, okay. But was the Zark scary haunting channel for real? Or was it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Well, you can clearly edit that, but I don't feel like this was edited at all. Like, it was really interesting, all these videos and all these type of content that we had from this family in this apartment. But, uh, I don't feel like it was fake. Because the... The child is not an actor, okay? And the way that that child behaved and acted and, and that kind of stuff, it felt real. If it's if it's fake, then please let me know. Definitely. Caught on camera. Ooh, an extra? A little a extra, extra, extra some, some. failed talk show host lives with his girlfriend in a small apartment in Denver, Colorado. Okay. Sometimes the couple hears strange noises in their apartment, but they never really thought much of it. That is until the Reddit user buys a brand new Samsung phone with a new night mode feature. Ooh. Meaning that the phone can take vivid, highly optimized photos even in the dark. Oh yeah, I can do that too with mine to as try well. out the feature, yep. so he turns off all the lights and snaps a few photos around his apartment. The feature when is awesome. he looks back at the results, he is shocked to see an unfamiliar figure standing in the kitchen cupboard. Jesus, is that you? Confused and worried, the user posts his photo to Reddit to get opinions on what he could have captured. After many requests, the Redditor decides to leave a camera recording overnight as he and his girlfriend sleep. 
Okay, good the idea. Couple reviews the recorded footage the next day. They discover something absolutely terrifying. Oh man, oh man, I want to see. Oh. Okay. So there's somebody there. Someone or something can be seen moving around in the dark. And whatever it is looks very similar to the figure in the previous photo. It does. So could it be that their apartment is haunted? Or just what is this? Let me know what you think. Thanks yep. for watching. I know yep. I'm starting to sound like a... You already know what I think. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh, yeah. In the video, there was like... He was like dancing in front of the camera. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it seemed a little bit set up. To be honest. Let me know what you guys think, though. Leave it down in the comments below. All right? If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button. Okay? Subscribe if you're new. Right? And comment down below which video you want to see next. As always, till the next video, take care and peace.